everybody. If you haven't checked out the last two videos we put up at the Little Travers Museum in Petoskey, and especially the Spirit Halloween one, go ahead and check them out because they're really fun, especially Spirit Halloween. But anyway, on our way home from Petoskey on Saturday, the car started to overheat. It's been leaking antifreeze forever, and Don's just been putting water in there. Well, apparently the water pump went out really bad, and the water was just pouring out. So we had to pull over right before Indian River and let the car cool off before he could put some more water in there so we could get home. And he just went today to CarQuest, bought a new water pump and all the other stuff he needs, so he has to change the water pump because he said that when he got home from CarQuest, which is only like three miles away, he opened up the hood, you know, just about 20 minutes ago, and water was just pouring out of the water pump like crazy. So that has to get fixed before we can do anything else. Right? Yep. Well, at least Villa wasn't going to tell her on it, though. No. So. He just bought a new water pump. He bought a new water pump, gasket, silicone, and, a and a, uh, concentrated anti and antifreeze. Yeah. Which we gotta dilute that before we, before we use yeah, it. Yeah, I know. So, but it was but when you buy your antifreeze, to me, it makes more sense to buy the concentrated, which is more expensive, yes, but it gets you two gallons. I would have thought it. it would be cheaper. Huh. No, you, you pay more for it per gallon. You pay more for the concentrated than you do for the already pre-mixed stuff. But huh. by the time you dilute, uh, dilute it, because out of one gallon, you end up with two gallons. Yeah. So, by the time you sit there and break it all down and do the math, it's actually cheaper. Oh. So. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Normally getting concentrate on something is a better deal than the other way. Yeah. Well, Anything. I'm, yeah, not about the concentrate. Sure, granted, we got to mix it. But how yeah. hard is it to take one gallon, split it in half, and then mix it with water? I mean... Not hard. Everybody's got water. Yeah. So. Yep. It makes more sense. So anyway, can you believe August is almost over? Well, yeah and no. We we've got the, leaves churning orange out, out all over already. It seems like the older you get, the faster the time goes. Well, this summer went by fast for us too because we did a lot of fun things every Saturday. Yeah. And you were working. Yep. Which he did not need to work today. His brother yeah. texted him last night and said it's not going to be busy enough for him to come in today. But hopefully yeah. he can tomorrow. I don't know. We'll I, I don't see. know. It's going to be that time of year where I might get cut off and not have work for the winter. So yeah, that that happens. So yeah, it's a seasonal job. Yeah, it's just a more of a seasonal seasonal job for me. So I'm not going to complain. Yeah. I mean, we was able to put a little bit of money off to the side. Not much, but. Yeah. Well, that's just how it goes. Yeah. Cole. Hi. Aw, oh, you're so cute. Nope. Too tired to be bothered, right? Okay, Don's ready to get started. Yep. And I've already loosened up the nuts for the water, uh, for the pulley for the water pump. Point at it. Right here. Okay. But I've already loosened the nuts for the pulley, but now I gotta get the tension off the belt from the tension pulley to be able to get the belt off. Okay. So all it takes is just three eighths drive ratchet. And down in here, there's a tension pulley. And it's, you know, very on where, where it's at on vehicle to vehicle, but. Yeah, for those of you who are new or who don't know, this is a 2002, Chevy Impala. Yeah. And we're doing a water pump. All right. Oh, nope, let's go downward. Oh, no, it can't. Wow. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty tight. Yeah. Now what are you going to do? I'll keep on trying until she loosens up. Oh. 
Don't cut yourself. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. She didn't want to loosen at first, but no, she is. See? Oh, okay. It's supposed to spring back, but it's not. So, I think last time I had this off, it didn't either. So, what does that mean? It's stretched out? You need a new one or something? Uh, no, it means that there is crap down in where the t spring is at. Hmm. That's supposed to give it that pressure. All right. Well, the bolts off. No, I gotta remove four bolts from here, which I already got loosened up. I loosened it up before I pulled the belt off. To use the belt hook to hold the pulley in place. One bolt. These water pumps are real small. There's two bolts. For the pulley, and then gotta try to knock the pulley off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get something to put behind it and give it some pressure. Try and pop it outward. There she goes. That's the pulley. Now here, there's gonna be more bolts. Which I'm gonna have to probably find the right size socket, but right here. And it goes all the way around the outside edges. But it's leaking from out around behind this pulley here where the bearings are. And that's where all the water's leaking at from. All right, well, now I got the old water pump out. Now I got the new one, and I'm putting the gasket on and the silicone. Got to have the silicone to help seal it. I'm putting the silicone on the opposite side of the uh, gasket, because the gasket's already on. So, I'm just getting some silicone on this side. High temp, black silicone. Yeah, which I got uh, silicone on the opposite side of the gasket already, because you got to apply it on both sides. It's just a thin layer. I do just fine. Okay. Now that's all done. All silicone and gaskets in there. Silicone on both sides of the gasket. Good to have some paper towel for cleaning your fingers up. Oh, how come you're doing car work uh, in your nice shirt from Historic Mill Creek? I don't know. But this is the old one. You can see where it was leaking down here. Yeah. Especially since you're putting our rusty water in it. Yeah. We have very, very rusty water here. Our water is orange. Yes, we still drink it because buying bottled water is frivolous and ridiculous. Yeah. We're not right. dead. No. All right, now I'm going to put it back in. Line the holes up as you put it in. For your bolts. And when you put these in, it says to put them in with a 10 inch pounds of torque, but I don't have a torque wrench that measures out in inch pounds. And so I'm just gonna put a, so I'm just gonna guess about 10 inch pounds worth of torque. 10 inch pounds, that makes no sense to me. Well, no, but anybody that does understand it is gonna know what I'm talking about. So it's a torque wrench, but we don't have. We, we got a torque wrench, but it only measures out in foot pounds. And for this one here, it says inch pounds. Okay. It's uh, different different measurements. But there's only five bolts that hold the water pump in, so. The water pump was leaking like there was no tomorrow, so. Yeah. You can see it. 
where it was running down at. On the bottom side of the water pump, you gotta kind of feel for the holes, but it don't take much to feel for them. It's pretty obvious once you feel it. Two bolts left for the water pump. Takes a, a five sixteen socket for those look for these uh, bolts for the water pump. So that way, if anybody's wondering, they know. We got the gun for good another ratchet. This one here is starting to get old, wore out. Using the worn out tools, they're fun. Oh, that's the battery. That ain't good. Yeah, don't blow yourself across the yard. Yeah, what's about 10 inch pounds ain't, ain't very much. I'm gonna say about the weight of a sack of potatoes. Okay, that's it. She's snug. Okay. So that's it. Well, isn't there some belt you gotta put on? Yeah. That you took off? Yeah. back on first.
Looks like right there. Four, which is the last bolt. Right. I'm gonna switch sockets here. Ten millimeter for those for the bolts for the uh, pulley. Try and snug them down the best you can just by hand and then once you get the belt on then you can try and snug it up more because the belt will help hold it in place lined up on the other pulleys before you pull it out over you know tighten it up and stuff this one gotta go back just to here slide back there you go that one lined up. The rest looks okay. I got it hooked back on the tension pulley. Okay, that's it. We're done. Okay. Besides, just let her sit overnight and then we'll top her off. All right. Yay. No more leaking. Yeah, at least there. But turn around. Turn around. Show me the front of your shirt. I don't know. I do not understand why you yeah, buy you brand new clothes. That shirt's only about a month old and then you insist on working on cars in them. When you have crappy clothes to work on cars in. Well, right? Not many crap goes anymore because I threw a lot of them away. Yeah, well, you don't need to wear your brand new clothes to work on a car. Yeah. Okay, it's much later now. We did lots of housework and stuff. And now we're waiting on this chili to cook for dinner. It's more homemade chili that I put together with fresh tomatoes and lots of fresh peppers, jalapeno peppers. And what are those others? Uh, hot, I believe hot block. Hot yeah. block peppers. Maybe Anaheim chilies. But yeah, it's going to be really, really good. We just don't have any corn again this time. We you have to remember to buy corn. And we're also having this really, really good cornbread along with it. Are you looking forward to the chili? Yeah. Yep. It'll be really good. It always is. We needed to use up some of those tomatoes because they yeah, were starting to go bad. Yeah, we have ended up with tomatoes and tomatoes and tomatoes. Holy crap, tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, there's a big box in the house that we got. Yeah, and uh, Don's brother and his wife have a whole bunch of them too from our garden so yeah yeah so. Don might have to start canning some yeah I mean, think I'm gonna have to because we've got tomatoes everywhere yeah and we didn't even pick our pick all the tomatoes out no they're not even done growing out there yet there's yeah, more coming so <laughs> yeah we got a big box oh and we were talking earlier about making salsa which we can can that too 
Yeah. We just have to, whatever recipe we pick, we have to remember to put yeah. either lemon juice or vinegar in it, or they won't it won't stay even canned. Right, because so you got a couple of pep, uh, peppers that you can do a couple of jars right now. Yeah. I'm figuring like a half a pepper per jar. Yeah, but with the... With the seeds and all in. Yeah, and with the lemon juice or vinegar, it won't spoil. Right, well, we got lemon juice and vinegar, so... Yeah, so we'll pick some good recipes. We never got our Car Carolina Reaper peppers that we wanted to make salsa with, but oh well. Oh well. We planted them, but they didn't grow. Yeah, they didn't grow. At least we tried. Yeah. So you definitely don't get nothing if you don't cry. No. Nope. So anyway, it's getting really, really late. We're going to end up eating dinner at midnight or one in the morning again, like the last time we made chili, but oh well. So we're going to go ahead and say goodnight, and we hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you so much for subscribing, because we couldn't do any of this without you. Say goodnight. Say good morning. Cool, stop that. You goofy kitten. And we'll see you next time.